High pressure continues to influence our weather around here. Of course, you're thinking, wait a minute, there's a storm moving over Idaho right now. Well, this high is so strong that it's blowing these systems apart as they reach into the eastern portion of the gym state. So what little precipitation falls will fall basically in the higher terrain, and that's about it. Leaves us with a lot of clouds and makes us a little bit warmer, though, than we were yesterday. Yeah, about 10 degrees warmer this afternoon. We'll take it. Always nice to get above freezing this time of year. Storm tracker radar up in the central mountains. Western Montana shows some snow. This is what's left of that system as it pushes uh, towards the east. And for the rest of us, we're looking at basically just clouds tonight. We'll call it mostly cloudy for Pocatello. And just like last night, we'll stay in the 20s. Thank goodness for some cloud cover. Barely a breeze out there. Idaho Falls, same deal. Mostly cloudy, only 19 for a low. Last night we were in the mid-teens, so even warmer than it was last night. We'll take it. And then tomorrow, we've got a partly sunny day. I think we'll see a little more blue sky than what we saw out there. Enough to get us a bit warmer at Idaho Falls. We'll actually get above freezing for a change. 36 is what we're looking at for high. Pocatello even warmer. We'll top out at 40 in the afternoon. And barely any wind out there. A few more 40s on the map. One for Malad City. Mackey, you're going to hit 40. Look at Sun Valley. Haley. 41 degrees in the afternoon. Of course, 40s, as you would expect, over in Twin Falls and over in Boise. 48 in Pendleton, mid-50s and cloudy in Seattle. And we got 51 up in Great Falls, Montana. You know, things are crazy out there as far as the weather. When Montana, parts of the big sky country are warmer than what you would think down south. We're down south in Elko. Temperature there about 47. Back home here in East Idaho, let's take a look at that southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven-day forecast. We are in the 40s for four days. That'll take us through the last weekend of 2023. We'll see some extra cloudiness this weekend, just a little bit of sunshine. But the way it stands now, we're going to stay dry for the next seven days as we go into the first few days of 2024. Rexburg seven-day forecast. How about that? We're above freezing tomorrow, even warmer on Saturday. Near 40, mostly cloudy for your Sunday. New Year's Day, looking good, looking dry. Don't have to worry about the weather slowing you down out there. 35 will be the afternoon high. Tuesday and Wednesday, still looking at those clouds around with a little bit of sunshine. Teton area seven-day forecast. We'll be in the mid-30s this weekend. Thankfully, a bit warmer at night. Tonight, of course, we'll be below zero. Tomorrow night, not quite so cold. Not quite so cold, especially during the daytime here in the next day or two for the central mountains. Temperatures will stay in the teens. Uh, looks like Sunday will be a little bit on the cloudy side. And then back to partly sunny on Monday with a high of 29. Still looking a dry weather next Tuesday and Wednesday.